I want to clarify something that I mentioned in one of my recent videos on 10 reasons that you should switch over from Facebook Marketplace to Facebook Shops. And if you haven't checked that video out, it's great, obviously. There's a number of other reasons, not just 10, but those are just like the 10 that came to mind. You can check it out. It's about two videos ago, and obviously, hopefully, it will persuade you to spend a lot more time in the business portion of Facebook Shops and not necessarily using your personal Facebook Marketplace, okay? That said, I do want to tie it into what I did talk about in one of those points in that video, and that was the very first point where I was basically like, one of the benefits of it is that you can put your business EIN, if you have a business, right? And you can put your business EIN into shops, whereas you can only put your social security number into Facebook Marketplace personally, right? And the benefit of that, if you have a business already, or if you plan to start one in the future, obviously, is that hypothetically, if you have like an S Corp or something like that, and the way that your business is structured and set up, you can avoid paying more, you can avoid paying more income taxes which ideally means you're gonna net more profit, right? Because you're gonna put your, your business EIN in there and then you that's just business income, it's not necessarily your personal income and you're gonna obviously net more money paying less taxes that way. Whereas if you can only put in your social security number, whether you have a business or not, then you are all that profit is solely going to be, just like it would be if you have a business LLC, is just solely going to be personal income. And so typically, if you weigh that against what I've just said with the uh, business EIN with an S Corp and you know with Facebook shops, you're gonna net a lot less money if you do it personally with a social security number, right? That's, I just wanted to clarify that really briefly, okay? And because I said that in that video, I actually got a lot of people reaching out to me basically asking like, okay, how do they set up a business? You know, should they rush out and set up a business before they start like going heavy into Facebook Marketplace? Are they doing it wrong? And so I just kind of wanted to touch on the fact that this ties into not just drop shipping on Facebook, not just drop shipping anywhere, but literally any e-commerce business specifically, but really any business whatsoever, um, you know, online specifically. And that's the, the message that like, when you're starting, you don't wanna add complexity to something, especially when you're, you're not like a pro at it yet, right? So what do I mean by that? You wanna start, you wanna build momentum, and then you don't need to worry about the little nuances of it, right? Like, for example, you don't need to worry about creating a business or coming up with a perfect business name or you know worrying about how to optimize how much profit you're, you're, you're getting to keep after taxes and like your take home. Like, don't worry about any of that stuff. It's just adding complexity, okay? If you're a beginner, a complete beginner, or maybe you're intermediate and you're just kind of getting into it a little bit and you're not like, you know, you're, you're not at the point where like you're netting multiple thousands of dollars or like $10,000 plus yet, don't even worry about that stuff, right? Keep building momentum, keep mastering your craft, and then once you start making decent money consistently, then kind of keep an ear out and then start looking for different avenues to optimize the money that you're making post-tax, right? With, you know, other things like, like shops. I'm not saying don't start shops if you don't have a business, you should start shops regardless of if you have a business or not. But I just want, kinda wanna touch on the fact that like you don't need to set up a business if you're new. It doesn't matter if you're doing it on personal marketplace. It doesn't matter if you're setting it up on Facebook shops. I just was saying that that is a potential benefit if you already do, okay? So I wanna hit this home. If you're just starting out, you do not need to set up a business. You do not need an EIN. You could do it personally, just as you, as a sole proprietor, and report it on your income taxes personally, just like that. And I think that that's a lot better way to start when you're you're, you're just kind of getting into it because then you don't have to worry about all the other nuances that come with it. You can just focus on getting better at drop shipping, which will ultimately make you more money. And then once you start consistently making more money, that's when you move on to like the next step, which is then optimizing the money that you're making to keep more of it, right? So kind of went off on a tangent there, but I really want to hit it home because I didn't just get it once or twice. I got it a bunch of different times through comments, through emails, and a number, a number of other places. So that's the key message today. Hope it helps, guys.